everyone, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures with who else but me, Maria Young. Now, in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to update you with all of our Vanda projects that are currently going on now. Of course, you guys know I was trying to hold off for as long as I could, trying to get as much growth action that I possibly could before I aired this video. But you guys also know that we are now coming into our colder months. We are into our autumn season, and soon we are going to be knocking on the door of winter time. So indeed, some cold weather coming our way. And you guys all know when that cold weather comes our way, our orchids really start regressing, or as a matter of fact, not regressing, but simply slowing down in the progress of its growth. So, you know what? I figured there's no better time than to do it now before the cold season hits. So that's what we're gonna be doing today and let's go ahead and get the Vanda party started right now. Okay, folks, so if you guys remember this Vanda right here, this is the Vanda that literally got nailed. That's right, we used a nail to poke two holes within this Vanda in effort to promote new growth of keikis from this Vanda right here as a propagation method. So what has been going on with it right now? So let's take a close look at the two points where we literally hammered a nail into. And as you can see, these are the two points. And you're also seeing that the blackening, of course, is right where the nail had poked right into. But you're not noticing any spreading anywhere else. So it's contained within these two areas. So that's good news to know that this orchid has not been infected or showing any signs of any infections with the poking of the nails. The leaves are very, very healthy. You're not noticing any type of wilting in the leaves at all. And indeed, at the very tip, you're also noticing the growth of the leaves. So that has not been stunted and it's growing as normal. Also taking a look at the root system, you're seeing very, very healthy roots. And if we take a closer look at the tips of the roots, you're also seeing several root tips still growing and flourishing. And if we look throughout the stem area, you're also noticing some nubbins that are beginning to form all throughout the stem area. But as you can see with these ones, these are more rounded, so I think these two are going to be roots instead of keikis. But we do have some good news, folks, because as you can see here, there are some small pointed nubbins that are beginning to protrude outwards. And indeed, we are hoping that these will become formation of little new growths of keikis. So indeed, this guy right here is still pretty healthy and again showing signs of growth and possible chance of keikis. So even though it's been about two months, we have noticed some things going on with this orchid and still we are going to keep our fingers crossed. Now, a long time ago, if you guys remember, we did have to do such a brutal operation on a yellow spotted beautiful blooming Vanda. And unfortunately, folks, that infection was so powerful that this did not have a fighting chance. As you can see, we did everything that we absolutely could, disinfected it, cut it where it needed to be, disinfected it again, and of course used cinnamon. And still, folks, this is the end results. Again, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, but just as long as you've done everything you can possibly, hey, you gave it your best shot and you can walk away free without any type of guilt or remorse. So indeed, unfortunately, this was not successful, but I am free and released from any regret. And if you remember this Vanda right here, the one that is combating Fusarium, the dreaded F word, folks. Indeed, you can see that the Vanda is still well intact. 
leaves are fully healthy no wilting again roots intact still having the new growth of root tips and let's take a look at the budding blooms and here they are folks look at all those buds just ready to burst forth with beautiful fragrant blossoms indeed they are healthy and looking so well definitely happy and we are expecting some beautiful fragrant blooms but folks we do have some sad news here i am showing you a vanda this is a sansai blue crossed with a mimi palmer and as you can see look at that long stem right there that actually was another vanda with lots and lots of leaves but unfortunately it developed some sort of infection i had to pull off all of the rotting leaves and this right here was actually a cakey that was growing off of that vanda so as you can see this has no roots at all and i was going to see if this could survive like this but it is an unfortunate event that i am noticing some browning at the very tip of the base of this cakey so now i am forced to do something very tragic and that is to cut off this cakey without any roots and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put some rooting hormone on it and actually see if we can grow some roots on this so fingers crossed folks again we're trying all that we can to rescue this little guy right here and here we go folks we're just going to go ahead and spray it down with listerine and i'm going to go ahead and cut this cakey right now right here there it goes it's cut and as you guys can see no roots whatsoever and here we are folks with the vanda that we just cut and right now we're putting cinnamon at the cut wound and this is just really going to assist it to heal at a rapid rate and definitely allow it to dry up and less risk of course of any type of infection so definitely that's what we did and this is ready to be potted up right here I have the pot ready to go I have some loose sphagnum moss in there and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more sphagnum in there definitely want that added moisture and that humidity and the way that we're gonna water this little guy we're just actually going to spray this down from time to time definitely we're gonna have to check to make sure that this does not get overly drenched again all we're trying to do is provide moisture and humidity that's it and that's all folks we definitely don't want any type of rotting to set in and we definitely don't want to uh, contribute to any of the rotting factor that may already be taking place so yes only lightly missed whenever needed and last but not least folks since we're giving out updates this actually isn't a vanda at all this is a cloaceae a catacetum type orchid but indeed I wanted to update you guys with this and let's make it final so that I don't have to do any more updates for this year but this indeed was the project that we did which was doing a new catacetum type orchid growing method if you guys remember we definitely started this out in a terrarium and as you can see it's very very healthy and has grown pretty large and now it's beginning to yellow at least some of the leaves are so I am guessing that this is going to be on its way out at least the leaves and you guys know this particular cloaceae actually loses all of its leaves and that's when it will begin to spike out so yeah it's right on time folks and definitely alive well and very healthy and we are going to wait for the much anticipated blooms for this 
And there you have it, folks. Those are our updates of all of our Vanda projects. And indeed, we added a couple of more. Yeah, unfortunately, but you guys know it was a state of emergency that we did it that way. Unfortunately, you guys know we just simply got to do whatever it is that we got to do. Now, I want you guys to know you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to stay tuned for more. I have so many things that are about to come our way. I definitely want to make all of the announcement but unfortunately a lot of the things that I'm into is gonna take a lot of preparing and planning and a lot of puzzle pieces coming together to create that bigger picture but indeed some very very exciting news is on the way so you definitely do not want to miss it and of course you guys know right I'm like right at the corner of hitting my 5,000 subscriber like oh my bejeebers I cannot even even believe it and I'm so thankful and I'm so humbled that so many of you guys would join me on my adventure and see it worthy enough to travel with me on it so definitely mwah, 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 love you guys all now with that being said I am gonna have an extravaganza gift giveaway right around the corner folks but you guys know I'm not yet at my 5,000 mark and I'm holding off until I get there but yeah we're right around the corner so I'm about to make some pretty amazing announcements and indeed I have so many gifts to give away and I have some vendors too that are right in line with me willing to also donate and give away some prizes to my beloved viewers and my friends and my familia we're like this you guys already know so again thank you guys so much and I love you all mwah, mwah, mwah. many things coming our way success and prosperity always living the dream folks and loving our orchids live love laugh and of course grow orchids <laughs>